Hello, friends, it's Pastor Jane Rowe. Sitting in the spot where I would normally sit on a Sunday morning when we are gathered for worship, so I'm giving you the perspective that I usually have um, as we are maybe listening to the organ music, preparing to begin worship. Um, this is my spot. We continue reading from the Gospel of Mark, the ninth chapter. We are reading verses 30 through 37. They went on from there and passed through Galilee. He did not want anyone to know it, for he was teaching his disciples, saying to them, the Son of Man is to be betrayed into human hands and they will kill him. And three days after being killed, he will rise again. But they did not understand what he was saying, and they were afraid to ask him. Then they came to Capernaum, and when he was in the house, he asked them, What were you arguing about on the way? But they were silent, for on the way they had argued with one another, Who was the greatest? He sat down, called the twelve, and said to them, Whoever wants to be first must be last of all and servant of all. Then he took a little child and put it among them. And taking it in his arms, he said to them, Whoever welcomes one such child in my name welcomes me. And whoever welcomes me welcomes not me, but the one who sent me. This is the second time in Mark's gospel that Jesus has told his disciples very directly and clearly about the suffering and death and resurrection that lie ahead for him. And again, explicitly, Mark says they did not understand. And they didn't say anything because they were afraid to ask, probably because the last time Peter had blurted out, no, Jesus, and had been strongly reprimanded for that. So now they choose silence, but not among themselves. Among themselves, they start arguing about who is the greatest. And when Jesus asks them directly, what were you talking about? They're silent, probably recognizing that what they were arguing about was not really something they would want him to hear. But he knows. And he teaches them explicitly that Following him means not pursuing greatness in the way the world understands it, but actually serving others, the most humble of others, a child who is, um, would in that culture have been the least of those gathered. Their arguing about who is the greatest is yet another piece of evidence of their not understanding Jesus, his mission, his message, and his call to them. We've seen this over and over, how they don't understand. And yet he continues with them to, to teach them and show them and know that they will eventually get it. I do find it an interesting note in this passage that he's with the 12 in the house and he pulls a child in among them, which means there were probably children traveling with them as well. 
watching, learning from all that they were doing. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, teach us that true greatness is found in welcoming others, the most humble and insignificant of others in the world's eyes, serving others no matter who they are. That is the greatness which you embodied and which you call us to embody today. In your holy name we pray. Amen.